What sort of aspiring farmer should you be? This I want to talk about because I spoke to an aspiring farmer during the week and um, it really inspired me. They felt a little bit hopeless in their situation, but to me it was just really, really inspiring. And I know to investors and, and in retiring farmers, their story is what they're after. So this farmer is leasing land in New South Wales and they're going through the drought at the moment. It's really tough and they've been able to get the capital together to get the operations going. It's a cropping sheep operation and it's really tough right now. Uh, it's tough for most farmers across the country uh, during this, uh, this drought. But for this aspiring farmer, especially so given that they're putting so much capital into something that they don't even have long-term tenure on and I guess they were feeling a bit, a bit downhearted, heartened uh, and that potentially this opportunity, they could fail. That uh, this lease could end, they can't pay the lease anymore, they make a loss out of this whole operation. And, and yes, that in and of itself is really full on and be a hard thing to go through. But as he was talking, I just thought, this is the type of farmer that we want to back with Cultivate Farms. An aspiring farmer who has found a lease, who has found some money somehow to get cracking on that lease. The, the cropping operation, which we know is so expensive, and he's probably going to get through this, this drought. Um, talk about initiative and drive and passion. And they are the things that an investor or an aspiring farmer are going to be wanting to know that you have if they're going to trust you with their land or trust you with their money. Uh, they want to know that you're going to get up every day. They want to know that you've been battling on your own uh, out on a farm against all odds to try and make a go of farming. Imagine if, you were, if that farmer is given the opportunity of a land of extra investment, how far they can take that. So I, I, that's the story I want people to think about is like, what are you doing with the limited resources that you have, maybe the limited time you have to demonstrate you are worthy uh, of working with a retiring farmer or investor, that you are gonna treat their money well, that you're gonna treat their land well, that you have the drive to get up every morning. What are you doing to prove that you have that? I guess is the, the message from this conversation. I was really, really inspired by this farmer. And, I, and there's lots of you out there doing the same thing, I know it. And Tim and Tegan Hicks are doing the same thing. They're slugging out every day, but they've got that bigger vision that this is about creating a story around your journey, around why you're fighting hard to make it possible to own your farm. You know these years are tough. You know leasing's tough. You know working as a farm hand is tough. Or whatever it is you're doing to demonstrate it, it's tough, but you've, you need to go through these hard work, these hard times, to demonstrate that you really want it and that someone will trust you with an amazing opportunity, which is farm ownership uh, and working with these people who can open those doors for you. So that, anyway, I was just really, really inspired by that and I just want to reflect on it with you. I'd love to hear your stories as well. And I know, again, I know there's lots of you out there doing that already, so keep at it. Just keep going because this is about you telling your story to open doors to get onto your farm. Thank you.